Hey guys and gals, David Basin again. I want to go over a couple things real quick on taking your call apart. We constantly get calls back that guys have taken it apart, especially goose calls in the wrong way. Or we get guys calling up that their duck call was fine last season and uh, this season they can't even blow on it and it sticks. Well, there's reasons for that and there's also ways to take your call apart if you have to. On calls like the Cackler, the Spec, if you don't have to take them apart, don't take them apart. They're very fine-tuned. They want to run in a very specific spot. And if you're not used to tuning a call like that, it can take you forever to get them back where you started and you can end up accidentally bending a reed or worse. So let's go over the duck call thing first. One thing, and that applies to goose calls too, especially you guys in the hot weather states like California. If you leave your calls in your truck or in the garage or in a storage unit without air conditioning all summer and the temps get up over 100, you got to remember that mylar is a plastic, it's a laminated plastic. So, you know, it's hanging out over this tone board, hovering. Well, if the temps get over 100, gravity is going to want to make that reed bend down. So if the call is laying just right to where gravity is going to pull that reed down, you're going to end up with a call that sticks without even knowing it. And it's just because it sat in, the, in, the, in that much heat for that period of time. You know, mylar is going to do that. It doesn't matter whose mylar it is. If it gets warm, the curve wants to come out of it. Goose calls will do it the same way. I've had them back here at the shop. I've had uh, honker calls with the reeds all the way laying down on the tone channel, completely reversed arced from sitting in a hot truck for three months. So you got to take care of them a little bit. You got to at least keep them out of the, of the extreme heat. Otherwise, they'll tune themselves for you. On the duck calls, a quick thing, if you've run into that and you have a call that's just after, it was running great during season, then after season it, something's wrong, it just won't blow, you can pull your reed pack out and reset everything. The way to do that, I'll show you, is grab your reeds between your thumb and forefinger and gently rock everything out. Don't reef up on the reeds, you'll put a kink in them, but just gently pull everything out. And you end up with a tone channel. You end up with the little rubber wedge and the two reeds. First thing you want to look for is you take your bottom reed. It's the bottom reed that always seems to get affected. Put it between your thumb and forefinger, the ends of it, like this, and flex it. When you do that, it should flex like that, in the shape of a U. If you pop it out of there and it flexes like a rainbow, you need to flip it over so it flexes like a U again, which is where you want it to. Then you make sure to take your top reed, the flip pointing up, set it on top of there, grab your insert, gently drop both reeds against the reed stop, against that bottom, line them up so they're even, make sure the flip is flipping up, take your wedge, and then gently holding your bottom reed with, with your finger like this. Shove your wedge in till it stops all the way. Make sure your top reed has got its kick going on, its flip up, and then shove it back in the call. And it should work fantastic. On goose calls, we have had calls come back that guys took apart with every conceivable tool. I mean, I constantly get them with huge teeth marks, in the tone channel, teeth marks or pliers marks across the front. What happens when you put your teeth or your pliers on this lower gut, this tone channel, and you twist? You actually put a twist in the gut. You, you bend the plastic itself. That call will never tune again. It's now, the tone channel is cocked at an angle. It won't tune. It's garbage. So if you really have to take your call apart, I mean, most guys, like I do, I don't take mine apart. I'll run water backwards through them to you know, from the exhaust end this way, lukewarm water, not cold, not hot, to flush out all the food and stuff, and then walk, run water forward through them and get everything spick and span. The mouthpiece you can clean out a little bit, you know, with a bottle brush or whatever. But if you have to take your guts up, here's the way to do it. You're going to take, you see the guts here, there's the reed, there's the wedge, and the tone channel. You're going to take your index finger, you're going to protect the tip of that reed by just sitting your finger on it and pushing it a tiny bit down in the tone channel. Then you're going to take something 
I use the end of the call. I don't know if that's good, bad, or otherwise. Um, a shot glass works, a socket, anything heavy and flat. And on the end of the tone channel, just tap, and then everything will pop right in the hole. Then you take your pinky finger or something and shove through from this direction down so it doesn't re-stick. And you have your guts and everything in your hand without damaging anything. Then you can put them... One thing I forgot to mention, if you're going to take it apart, take a Sharpie and mark where your reed is in relation to where it is on the wedge and mark how far in the whole assembly is pushed into the mouthpiece. That all affects the way it calls sounds and how you tune it. So if you have to take it apart and you think you can put it back together right, go for it that way. Don't pliers or teeth or any of that stuff because you'll just destroy it. If you don't want to risk taking it apart yourself or you have and it's messed up, just send it up to me. 15 bucks, it gets your return shipping, I'll completely retune it, I'll put new guts in it if you destroyed the guts, put new read in it, get it right back to you, depending on how busy we are, you know, during certain times of the year, like we're coming into September now, so things are getting really busy, got a lot of retunes, so you can't get things back as fast, you know, if you send it to me at Christmas, I'm not going to have it back to you by the first of the year, things are just crazy, but in a reasonable amount of time, we'll get it back to you and we use priority mail to ship it back, so it's only got two or three days in the air and it's back to you. But there you go. Just If you have to take them apart, please do it that way.